Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. This time we start a new series. Uh, it will be a simple series, but I like to uh, work on this series too and continue the others we are working on. And this time I like to create something similar to this references. So we'll prepare uh, a beer bottle and we'll try to do it really realistic so we have some references just to be checked so we'll have to work on many aspects as the uh, the bottle, the, the beer inside, the foam, uh, the water um, over the bottle and uh, we we like we like to create it and to obtain a, a really a photo real result so uh, let's start from the uh, modeling and we'll see if we have time we'll try to shade and light uh, this test using various rendering engine first of all let's check that the unit stop are set to centimeters then we can start working uh, let's create a new uh, viewport there a new layout using the front camera and let's use a taper to have the 8 for the bottle you see that actually the scale is really amazing so let's go for uh, let's say maybe 30 centimeters that's the target let's go to the target there let's pick that stuff and let's go at full screen so that's our scale there that's our bottle if we try to reset this one you see that we are talking about 30 centimeters okay so let's start uh, creating a, a really uh, simple shape for uh, the bottle I created uh, in a really simple way and later we can uh, fix it and change it so it will be not a big issue to have the precise final shape actually you see that it is also out of scale obviously but it's just to have some rough point to work on so uh, we need to scale everything so we like to have this part there this part there this one should be there and again this part should be something around there this one will be straight and let's start working on this area so we have there this part and let's say that all these points are busy See, I'm moving uh, uh, the points to have the right shape. This one, let's try to have it with less differences we can zoom in this area to be more precise let's ask for the axis constraint and for the moment we'll stay with this one
Maybe we'll have to fix it later. Zoom less. This one is too to match, and this one too is a little bit too much. Let's say that the second one can stay there, and the first vertices. stay in this position this one needs to be a basic corner or we can use a bezier and then this one can be softer So there we can use, let's try with a basic corner and let's work on both axes. In there too we go for a box, um, a busy corner. Okay, it is starting to have a better shape. Um, I like to see something like moving a little bit this area. Let's go to have an adaptive interpolation. And actually we'll see uh, how it works just with a simple lathe on the minimum point. Okay, um, we have to fix this one. So you see, we can have a better interpretation of what we are doing. because now we are working directly over the various stuffs there and I like to work a little bit on this area there can be okay I don't like too much this area I prefer a shape like this one. Okay, it is better. We can have uh, a more little area there. So let's zoom and let's move this one. It is a little bit better again. And uh, like maybe just to change a little bit there and and let's have this area a little bit bigger okay so 
now we have to work on the spline but before I like to save the scene in the same folder where we work usually let's call it 3ds max rendering photoreal beer bottle let's copy everything then again and save okay so let's select the, sh uh, the spline and we need the outline you see it will be really really uh, let's do something like 3 millimeters okay so now we have to go there and we have to solve some issue we have there there we have a problem too but you see we see no more the vertices sometimes it happens and you can go there gizmos and usually something can be set to off but I see that everything is okay so I think that actually it is a problem with my word there let's check entire spline there we have to fix some stuff let's see what happens when we have the blade again let's go for minimum and generate mapping coordinates let's say for the moment 40 segments I need also to show again the viewport layout tab And that's our battle so we can see what we have to change I'd like to change something there and to fix a little bit up there okay I restarted my workstation and now everything is back again working uh, now I like to manipulate a little bit this area to have the right result we can remove the vertices obviously inside it is a little bit different okay and we can change a little bit some position and some other stuff it must be not so precise but I like to have uh, a not bad uh, result so we need to refine also there to have a curve okay and uh, let's see to do something there to have this point to something like that and this point down okay then again we need to have this one higher because you know internally it is a bigger than the external one and we can do something like that 
Okay. Let's see on the late and then affect people and center. Okay. That's our bottle. Then if we like to change it a little bit, we can do it. It's not a problem. Um, now I'd like to create uh, something around. We need just a really simple plane or a simple uh, space where we can show our battle. So we can create something really simple as this one. Okay, then obviously we can change it. So uh, let's go for an extrude. the bottle can be moved at the center there then let's check this spline there we can change a little bit this one seeing that we have a basic corner and we need to move down this one. Okay. We can give also a shell so we can be sure and we go for the internal. We can be sure that we have a 3D shape. And let's call it ground and save. Okay, uh, let's set also the PO for this one and uh, I'd like to check that actually it is in the right position you see that we have to move it let's go at full screen, sorry for this one and right mouse button there and we can move it manually okay so back to the four viewport and now we can uh, this one can be removed for the moment I like to uh, create also um, uh, the glass to put it inside the scene so we go again for the spline and we see that we have something like okay and then let's go at full screen with the spline uh, let's go for uh, to check this curve and to check this curve again and now I'd like to zoom there we have to move this one this one will be a bezier but again I need the axis constraint And this one will become a basic corner. So we'll have a curve. Let's change there the viewport zoom. And I'd like to see, first of all, with the lathe, if the basic shape we model it can be okay. We have to move this one a little bit there. Let's assign again a late. 
minimum and it seems not bad we have to change a little bit this curve and this one can be a little bit higher and we move also this one and a little bit this one out okay so let's remove this one and again shape and we go to have an outline and let's say 0 2 millimeters then working on the vertices um, we have you see it's maybe a problem with my uh, my card actually so you see we have again a problem with our vertices there but this time it is not so big so we can go for something like that and then I like to check it there and we need to refine there so refine a point there and then this one can be moved and we can convert to let's try with smooth is to less uh, let's go back to smooth but obviously this time we should need to make it something like that okay so we have it uh, we have maybe to fix a little bit there you see that we have a strange curve okay let's use a late and this one will be the final late and we have also our glass so let's call it glass and then the pivot and the center so then we can move this one near the bottle let's select with a control key also the bottle and we can have everything in the middle of, this, of the scene let's see to move this one to stay in the right position and perfect okay save now we can start playing a little bit with the materials and uh, uh, we can tune a little bit of lighting so uh, we can start with uh, a basic three point uh, rendering I use simple uh, mental ray area spot for the moment so we'll render it with mental ray or we can start to play with eye ray to obtain a final render in case we like to use uh, the render with uh, eye ray it is better to work with the photometric lighting so let's go for a target light and we'll start to illuminate uh, there we can create from this point of view we can say create the camera from this point of view okay then let's select the photometric lighting and we go for something coming from there and this one will be a rectangle and let's see everything and this rectangle can be big enough uh, let's try with something like that okay uh, light shape visible in rendering we'll try to have it this one and to use it as reflection card and uh, you know we have everything set in the right way we have just to check 
than the uh, lighting and uh, let's save and let's set iRay as rendering engine and in the render let's set to one minute let's see in the order okay let's say that it will not use my main uh, card actually and let's go for let's say 900 400 is uh, our main res resolution let's go for 500 just to have a simple and fast preview okay that's our main lighting you see it's coming from this area then let's go for 12 another lights uh, again let's use a target light this one will be a little bit lower we do again a rectangle and we'll do it a little bit bitter grander and uh, we have the shadows and we go to have a filter color we'll do something a little bit different something like that okay and the intensity will be lower let's try with 7500 let's try to render again and you see that's our lighting with a f uh, the fill light coming from there and uh, main light from there and save now I'd like to put a backlight we use again this one will not uh, illuminate the ground because I don't like to have some lighting over there uh, for the moment we stay with no shadows and we stay with a white and let's say that we have again a rectangle and again it is bigger let's see the result we should have you see we have the lighting there we have to fix it okay okay now we'll solve also this problem there and uh, We can solve this one in a really uh, simple way. So we change the shape there. We should need to have more extrusion. And let's see if it is solving the problem the main issue is that we have still the lighting there and let's say that this one because we not done it uh, this light is visible and then we'll fix also this part of the scene let's start to work a little bit on some basic shader uh, the ground will be done using an arc and design and we call it ground for the moment it will be a really simple shader as this one it will have a low reflectivity the IOR will be 1.6 something like plastic 
and we'll say to use the BRDF coming from the uh, I or R and then I like to set main to ray in the material editor to be faster and uh, we'll go to a, let's try it 06 because obviously now the level are a little bit different from Minty Ray, so we have to check it. Okay. Later we'll solve the problem with the with the background. Actually, I like to play a little bit with the material, but there I like to have a lower value for the glossy. Let's go to have a glass material there and the glass will be in Arcan Design and we can start using the uh, glass physical and later we can fix it and change it. Let's see what happens if we use this one. You see that we have a not bad glass Okay, and then we need uh, another glass for the bottle. We say bottle, and we set this one. And we need to change a little bit some parameters. This one, you know, will be of a different colors. So we'll have a different reflection there and we'll have also a different coloring for the refraction. Let's see in this way what we have. You see that it is starting to be similar but uh, first of all I like to have this one brighter Okay, and this one should be a little bit brighter too. Okay, we have still two red. Let's remove the reflectivity and let's go there and removing a little bit of red. you see that it's starting to have a better coloring let's stop it okay and uh, let's go there again to have a little bit less red and let's see Now a little bit more. Okay. And let's check again. Okay. Let's try to have a brighter color. So we have just a little bit of coloring. Okay. Then back there, let's say that we have full reflection and you see that we have the reflection there then I like to do uh, two things uh, first of all let's remove the reflectivity and let's say that we have glossiness in the refla refraction because we are talking about frozen glass Let's try before to use the refractivity with a little bit of glossiness.
Okay, so we are trying to simulate the right look there. Okay. Then I like to do two things before we stop these, uh, this is part of the tutorial. Let's go at full screen and let's make a clone of this one. Okay. And this will be uh, beer glass. Let's set the glass uh, object properties display as boxes. So let's work there. We need to remove the external segments there. Let's do there. And we can remove this one. Okay. Let's see everything. And then we can see with the late. We see that we have something there. Let's go in a perspective. with a shaded view and let's use a cap ok, now we have a complete 3D object there back in the 4 viewport there we need to simulate the beer so let's say that we try to simulate a beer and we use again the arc and the sign and we assign it ok let's use no reflection for the moment let's use for the moment no diffusion and let's go to have a transparency and we go to have an orange color we leave the IRR to 1.4 maybe you can try with 1.38 we have to make some testing so let's check what we have We have to fix the problem there with let's make not renderable this one. Okay, that's the what we are doing and we go for something more similar to this one. Try to add also a little bit of reflectivity, let's say maybe 0 0.2, nothing so much, and we'll have reflection like yellow maybe or a little bit orange. You know there are a lot of beer with different colors so and let's go to have a little bit of diffusion really really low okay let's go there for the transparency and let's go maybe to add a little bit of translucent C you see it is too much Let's go for something really low. Okay, and let's see if we have a little bit more reflection with a little bit of glossiness, let's say 0 0.6. like to make it a little bit more clear so let's go to have cleaner color
Okay. Later, obviously, we'll have to play a little bit more. Uh, then again, back to this one renderable, and maybe we have just to make this one a little bit more little because now it is touching the bottle surface. So let's do it maybe 99 and 99. Uh, let's see if it, it is fixing the problem. Okay, no, it is fixing. Okay, we have to still fix the colors there for the beer, but it is a starting point. We still need to do a lot of things. Back there, I like to have a cleaner glass. Okay. Perfect. Let's go to tune a little bit the lighting. So this one, the main light, will go to one eight. This one will become one thousand, and this one will be moved there with uh, one five can be an F and we we'll go to have it a little bit bigger okay obviously later we have to fix the various stuffs there and we have to fix the lighting too there in the reflectivity I like to add a little bit of red and uh, now we need to add the beer in the bottle too so we can pick the bottle edit clone and let's call it beer bottle let's go in isolation mode and there we have to erase all the segments we don't need and both there and late then we use again the cap holes and we assign the same shader that must be still fixed uh, let's exit from there and let's see what happened in the rendering you see that we have the liquids there inside the bottle we have to mm, scale it a little bit so let's scale in the same way using there the 99 and 99 okay so we we'll have no artifacts over it.
let's peek this one and let's move it there okay then we can have obviously you see the beer shader must be still fixed and work it because we have not a so good quality there and the colors too I don't like it so uh, let's go in the beer color and uh, if you see we have for me too much right uh, uh, too much red so let's try to remove the red color and let's focus on the on the uh, glass Now it is uh, becoming to be a little bit too. Let's try just to have a more uh, a better color. Uh, let's try with zero eight and zero maybe something around fifty one and something like that so a more yellow coloring uh, let's go for rendering and you see that it is more similar to a beer obviously the shader is not ready so we have to continue working uh, let's see the rendering in the complex so uh, in the next part we'll have to finalize the lighting finalize the shaders and put the water for example over the bottle and uh, uh, we'll try to simulate better the frozen look and uh, we'll try to finalize, uh, to finalize all the shaders and we'll prepare also the texture we need for example for the bottle so you see that's uh, the actor quality for the rendering we done so let's stop it and uh, as you can see we have just uh, the beginning of our rendering but it's just uh, a good start so we can finalize on the next part so for the moment that's all and i hope to see you back on max cookie to check for a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye